Hello and welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the osprey. Depending on where you are in the world, you might recognize this bird as a river hawk, a sea hawk, or a fish hawk. But here in the UK, we know them as ospreys. There are four subspecies of osprey, and they're the second most widespread member of the raptor family being found on every continent except for Antarctica. In the UK, they are warm weather migrants and can be seen from early March to late November, with birds that breed here spending the winter in southern Europe or along the coast of West Africa. Ospreys are quite a large bird, with a wingspan of 145 to 170 centimeters and weighing from 1.2 to 2 kilograms. Their wings, backs and on top of their tails are covered in dark brown feathers whilst they have a white crown and a dark brown eye stripe. Females are around 20% larger than males and they can also be separated by the colouring of the feathers down their throats and undersides. In males, these are almost completely white whilst in females, the feathers are heavily mottled with brown. As their alternative names suggest, an osprey's diet is almost completely made up of fish, which they catch by diving feet first into shallow water. To help them keep hold of any prey they manage to catch, they can turn their fourth toe to point backwards, meaning they have two forwards and two rear-facing claws. This also allows them to hold and maneuver their prey, which will often be carried forward-facing and therefore more streamlined. Naturally, ospreys will nest on cliffs and in the high crowns of large trees, but in the UK they'll frequently use man-made nesting platforms. The same nest is used year after year and after a little maintenance when the birds return in the springtime, between one and four red speckled white eggs are laid. This is usually by the end of April with the eggs being laid between one and three days apart. They aren't very large for such a big bird and measure just over six centimeters long, which is about the same as a chicken's egg. Sometimes the female will carry out all of the incubation, which lasts for 37 days, whilst her mate brings her food in the nest. Although some males will take over incubation for a short period each day to allow the female to leave. When the chicks hatch, they are covered in striped cream and brown fluff, with their dark eye stripe already being visible. They hatch at the same rate as they are laid, meaning there can be more than a week difference between the youngest and the oldest chicks. When there is plenty of food, this is no problem, but if food is in short supply, only the older chicks will get fed and the younger ones will not survive. As the chicks grow, the male brings most of their food to the nest, where the female tears it into smaller pieces and feeds it to them. After seven to eight weeks, the chicks can fly and look very similar to their parents and will slowly begin to venture away from the nest. At this point, some adult females leave their nesting territory and start to make their migration journey south. But until all of the chicks are fully independent, and start migrating themselves, the male will remain and continue to bring them food. Although pairs are usually monogamous for many years, they do not migrate to the same place for winter and will only rekindle their relationship when they return again in the spring. In 1916, ospreys were thought to be extinct as a breeding species in the UK and it wasn't until 1954 that one pair nested again at Loch Garton in central Scotland. There are now more than 240 pairs, mainly in Scotland and Northern England, but also at a few other sites across England and Wales, including just one nest along England's southern coast. Last year, for the first time in more than 200 years, a pair successfully nested in Northern Ireland. Ospreys usually live for around nine years, 
although the oldest known bird is currently still alive and at least 30 years old. And here is one of the osprey's calls. And that's all for today. But if you did enjoy this video, then check out this one here, things you need to know about the red kite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.